really. Got a wee party of kids for me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Dry morning. Hedge cutter Kev brought that in last night. He'll be out on that again today. He's getting through them. It takes a bit of time. It's a lot of them that are kind of quite overgrown. I've got some coos to feed in here. They need um, fresh straw. Need some bedding and ammonia straw to eat. That pile of feeding is ready to go along the road. So I think hopefully Dunk will bring a trailer along. And he'll fill that up and it get taken to yard number three. Not all of it. Just a load which will be about. 40% of that pile. Boxes laid out for pig feed. Uh, feed mix is in already, mixing up some hen feed at the moment, and then you'll get onto the pig feed. It's nice having a quote bite back. See him away down there. He's already made up a batch out there, and he'll come back and make another one. He's filling up that silo on the right. No, he does the one on the left. Well, oh, either or, doesn't matter. Mm. Come on. Get moving. Don't you want to stay on there, dog? Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, down. And the cows just ruffle it all up and lie on it and eat it. Dunks just arrived there with a trailer. We'll get that filled up just once I've, um, I don't know when I fill it up soon. Final bell. That's embedded. Keep them happy and dry for a couple of days. Dunks just putting the grubber on because he's going to go and start grubbing the carrot ground. If you can see the lights up there, that's where the carrots are. I'm needing two bales of ammonia straw, which we cut the other day. Helps them breathe a bit. They're less pungent. You don't get knocked out when you open the bale. Kev's off for the McConnell, get some more hedges done. Fuel stop first. I think it's full anyway. Don't go around the corners too fast. That's what I'm needing. Right, I'm just reversing this under this lean to for now because I've got another job I need to do that I forgot I needed to do before I take this feeding off the road. So what I'm needing to do is go up to the carrot field um, because when they wash the carrots along the road, uh, all the soil that comes off the carrots they bring back home and it's just dumped in a pile in the field. And he's leveled off because Dunk's uh, grubbing at the moment. Just reversed the fan um, on the engine bay there. Obviously, not been done in a wee while. This fog lift could do with a bit of a morning of service and a wash and a bit of looking after, to be honest. Get around to it. This is the carrot ground. This is the piece that Dunk's already grubbed. You can see where he's just running the GPS. So we've still got this bit to do and there's a few piles of soil up here to go and flatten off.
doesn't need much, just little bulbs, just batter it out and then dunk off, finish it off with a grubber. Right, that's that job done, uh, so I can now get along the road um, to get that feeding because I think the cattle along there are needing it and the feeder's probably empty. Pig feed's been done, they'll need to go along the road now. Just bringing the pig feed inside because um, we're not desperately needing it so I might not necessarily go along the road today. Right, we're going to split off the four in here. Uh, they're not pregnant to feed them a bit more. I've just ordered some troughs for this bit and another spare up there as well. Um, so we'll do that and we just split off a couple of kind of scabby, thin looking ones. I'm going to widen this pen a bit. So these gates are going to go to that point there rather than that point there. I'll just square this off, obviously, because it needs a split in the middle for each side of the trough. And then we'll get the skinny ones and the non-pregnant ones in that bay and feed them a good bit more. Right, we've got three of the non-pregnant ones. Can't figure out the other one. I'll wait until they're next in for feeding because it's a lot easier to just look along the sags. This one's come in because it's quite scrawny. I've actually not got very many other ones scrawny, scrawny. So just keep that one fattening up as well. That should do. There's enough room in, in there for them, plenty. Troughs we've ordered for over there are just single width ones. Ideally it'd be double widths, but we can't get them till for ages. So we just have to order a pile of kind of shortish ones. They'll do the job, but there'll be no use outside in the fields because the cattle will just knock them over. But saying that, we don't really need much out in the field to be honest, too often. And if we do, we do have some old ones. Just been smashing up those pallets because the bits of wood. We need them for a bit of a border up that direction. Just started heading off for this trailer and uh, might want to plug the brakes and lights on. There goes the agronomist. Um, I just met him here. He was having a wee look at a few bits. Everything's fine other than one field of rape, which is really thick and really full of club root. Club root's basically when the root stops and thickens off and you get nothing. But you get varying degrees of it severe and not so severe and um, but it's it's an issue but also the fact that the crop's really thick it might help us this year because club root will kill off quite a few plants so we might be able to bring down the thickness via the club root we don't want club root but this year of all years might actually help because there's loads of volunteers we could do with them getting killed off by club root and then the rest of the plants firing through, no bother. I'll do it. Whack it in there. I think the feeder needs fi filled up, so I'll go and check that. That'll last a good while. All the calves are all slowly, progressively eating more and more, so it will go at a quicker rate. Just in time. The feeder's still holding up. Shut, locked up, and need to. Might go home and set up the camera actually. Might have time to do that. Before I head back home, I'm actually going to go and swap this grain trailer uh, for a flatbed up here because the pig feed will eventually need to come along the road and 
past in this yard anyway, so I'll just swap the trailers, take the flatbed home. So we've got something to take the pig feed home with, uh, pig feed back to yard number two with. That mirror is why it is because it's gone around a corner, a corner that I've already smashed a van's wing mirror off once before. Had the discs on and just 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 clipped it. Did that last year. So there was another car coming round it, tucked in right next to the hedge. Fold the wing mirror in. Police didn't wipe anyone else's wing mirror out. Flatbed secured. We're off. Back to yard number one. So I'm going to do a wee bit of a install video on the new farm stream camera that I've just been delivered. And um, so it arrives like this. I've already unboxed everything, so I'm not needing this just now. Although I'll show you. That's it's a. Farm stream, all weather, 4G slash Wi-Fi. I'm going for the 4G option. Um, 30 times zoom, 80 meters night vision, which is the bit I'm mo most focused on because I'm using it as a calving camera. But can be used as security, calving, um, anything you want, really. So this is the actual camera unit itself. Um, so you can see the main camera there. Um, this is where you attach the antennas. There's a bracket here. Uh, which is a mounting system so this obviously goes over that cable and onto there and there's some grub screws that line up with that notch to hold it in place position that onto something so the side of a building an i beam whatever you fancy so first things first you get this wee card with it with it thank you for your purchase um scan this runs you through a set of instructions to install the whole thing it's well i've not installed it yet but the instructions make it look very simple so i'm just going to run through that just now First things first, check all the pieces are here, um, which they are, I've gone through them all. And then the next step for me, because I'm on a SIM card, I need to set this up. Giftcalf SIM card that will go into the camera, allow me to link my phone to the camera so I can watch from anywhere and um, whatever's happening. Right, so I'm just gonna set this up, give me a minute. Right, I've been online, I've activated my SIM card, so this can now be installed into the machine. I selected a £10 uh, bundle because that's the one they suggest. So we're on to step three now. So I have to get this back panel off, install the SIM card and this, install the SD card. Easy peasy. Two Phillips screwdrivers, no bother. We Phillips screwdriver, get the back of the case open. One, two, three, four, and then this panel comes off. There we go. So I've got my SIM card. I've taken the two outer shells off to get it right down to that size as what I'm after. So that just slots in the back there, the SIM card. And you hear it click. And the SD card, which I've got unpacked here, it goes in the top like that, and you'll hear it click as well. That's it. So that's those two installed. I can put the case back on the top. I've got in contact with FarmStream to find out what data is usual. So the normal plans on the gift gaff, um, £10 goodie bag is six gigabytes of data, and that does roughly an hour of streaming a day. Um, so it uses data when you're using the app and taking footage from the camera to your phone. So that will cover roughly an hour a day. So that seems to generally be enough if you want to do more you can increase your data so next step is we're taking there's three screws where are they these are the three i'm after and um, so these three screws effectively are like grub screws in the bracket here one two and three and they're going to line up with this groove so that the bracket once it's on position will stay there these cables get fed through here if i can get them through oh you're joking I've gone the wrong way around. <laughs> That's probably why it's tricky. Okay, let's pretend that never happened. Right, these cables go slot through here and then that'll get my bracket on there. So just pop them in. One, two, three, four. Wiggle that the other end, That's it. Much easier when you do it properly, isn't it? And the bracket, there's a wee sticker there. See that arrow? You're going to line the bracket up with that so that's your zero degrees 
Anyway, step five, we're just putting the antennas on. Pretty simple. They just go on these three brackets here. They're all identical. The picture shows them all pointing like that. So I'm just going to do the same as the picture. Okay, step six is linking up these wires with the plug. This one is if you're running off of a 12 volt, um, so battery supply, you'd plug into this. Um, here is your 13 amp plug, or your adapter plug, which is the one I'm using. If I plug, I'll plug this into here. Um, this is a reset button, um, presumably if they have to reset the camera at any time. Um, and this is actually just for factory settings, so we don't need to like, worry about that one. Now, step seven is we're going to download an app onto our phone, um, which is to get the camera from this. We can actually power up the camera now, but I'll just plug it into this. Uh, I've got sockets over here. I'll just plug it in there for now. Right, I've just plugged it in. It's moving. I'll be finding it's kind of zero position, I think. That's it done. Other than actually mounting it where I want it and making sure there's um, power where I need it, it's good to go. So what I'm gonna do personally is mount this to a bit of wood uh, and then I'll clamp this in a position in the shed to trial it. I'll trial a few positions, see what I like best. And then after that, I might go to just absolutely permanently mounting it because it's on steel I-beams, don't need to bore loads of holes each time. Mount it on here, clamp it on uh, and then test it. I'm gonna put it up right now because it's night time, it's dark. I want to test the night vision on it. One of these actually is for an alarm. If you want to plug your alarm into it, which is this wee thing, you can do. Cracking. I've just been on the app looking through all the kind of things you can do with it and you can basically motion detect. Um, so if you've got a shed, let's say you've got a shed that nothing moves in through the night, machinery shed, no one's meant to be in it. You can set it up for movement detection and it'll send you an alert on your phone if there's movement within the shed. So far, so good. If there is things, I will I will say about them, but so far, everything seems pretty good. Um, see what the actual footage is like. That's the main thing from it. See if it's gonna be suitable for us, but. <laughs> Run the wires through that hole bolt it through here that'll do the job there these are officially for studding that with oh you can actually route it off to the side if you want right i'm just running an extension cable for now just put it up there for now so i can see what the image is like see how much i've got to play with when it's actually dark and then figure out where I want to actually put it within the shed. But for now, for now, we'll get it up, have a look at the images, the night camera, that's what I'm interested in right now. Just gonna mount it all on the edge of the bucket and lift the bucket into the air like you'd have it up at the top of the shed, uh, because it's getting quite late now. I don't have time to properly mount it tonight. You can see, I've just plugged it in, so it's just finding it in zero position, blah, 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 sorting itself out. This is probably not advised by the company. <laughs> there we go. Right, anyway, that's everything set up. That's everything done for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I will put the link for FarmStream in the description. So if you're interested in the cameras, just want to look at the website, go and have a scroll. He's just a pal, so I'm trying to help him out. He, he sent me a camera, so cheers for that, Eddie and Callum and Louise. Anyway, cheers for watching.